Welcome to the Resistance. Some of you took last week's orders a bit too literally. I said burn fast food in a safe environment, not burn an actual fast food restaurant. Your enthusiasm is noted, but we want to light the candle of revolution, not ignite the french fry sticking inferno of revolution. This leads me to an important message. How to maintain your composure during a violent riot. Like the rest of you, a rage has been building up inside of me that yearns to come out in mass demonstrations of righteous fury. But we must control this rage. How do we know who are our allies in riots and who are the oppressors? How do we maintain troop formations during an uprising? How do we properly pull down a streetlight without injuring our comrades? Remember, that car you're overturning could be your comrade's ride home, and we have already lost too many Priuses to friendly fire. That all ends now with these go-to guidelines for an effective and safe violent uprising. Rule number one, buddy up. It's hard out there alone, and projectile tear gas canisters smart. You need a comrade to watch your back. You also need a comrade to throw in front of a projectile tear gas canister and sacrifice themselves for the good of the cause. Rule number two, uniform up. You need to know the difference between an oppressive plant and an actual riot participant. Stylish choices include bandanas, balaclavas, and fair trade scarves, but in a pinch you can simply disrobe the nearest oppressor and use their shirt as a face mask. That's efficiency. Rule number three, your job is to fight for your revolution, not to be safe. You might get hurt. You might break your arms and legs. You might get thrown in front of projectile tear gas canisters. But remember, your bloody body is a small price to pay for liberation from the oppressor. And the last rule is to have fun out there. Remember, we're all fighting on behalf of the revolution, and if we're not having fun, we won't be able to convince the masses to join in our blood-drenched uprising. Your assignment this week is to practice polite rioting by holding hands with comrades in silent demonstration at the nearest bus stop. If enough of you do this, we might as well call a riot, so get ready, who knows? We'll either begin the revolution or we'll make friends along the way. Either way, your cannon-foddered bodies will be well worth it.